Western reports confirmed that North Korea has provided Russia with ballistic missiles that it may use on the front in Ukraine, while the American military watch magazine highlighted the missile that Moscow may seek to include in its arsenal from Pyongyang. This report comes from the magazine specialized in military affairs, in conjunction with the statement of the Coordinator of Strategic Communications at the U.S. National Security Council at the White House, John Kirby. In this regard, he said that Moscow is using ballistic missiles, developed by Pyongyang, against Kiev. According to the report, although the U.S. administration did not give more details on the missile class, the confirmation was on the missile's range of 900 kilometers, which strongly refers to the KN-23B model. The magazine reported that Russia sought to obtain this missile system, for its high capabilities, pointing out that the only other North Korean missile with a similar range is the HWASONG-9. The KN-23B is a serious contender for the title of the world's most capable class of short-range ballistic missiles, launched from the ground. North Korea has developed the KN-23B, an updated version of the basic KN-23 missiles that entered service in 2019, with an extended range, an extended warhead, and is powered by solid fuel. The first test launch of the KN-23B took place on March 25, 2021, under the supervision of the Academy of Defense Sciences of North Korea. The KN-23 core system has better advantages than the Iskander-M, the most notable of which is the range of engagement of up to 700 kilometers, compared to only 500 kilometers for the Russian missile system. The KN-23 and the Russian Iskander-M missiles are similar in that they have low semi-ballistic trajectories, with the ability to conduct large-scale flight maneuvers from launch to hitting the target, which makes them difficult to detect or track. The Russian and North Korean systems use their fins to maneuver much better than missiles with standard ballistic trajectories. These capabilities proved to be sufficient, since the American Aegis anti-missile system is not even able to detect the launches of KN-23 missiles.